this is going to be a fun interview. It's literally the closest company to my house. It's 200 yards from my house. And you might have seen the video from the, their, their product. Their 3D cameras or 2D cameras that are waterproof and a lot of surfers and skiers use them. Well, we're going to find out the story behind GoPro. And we're going to get a first look at the new 3D camera shipping this week. Who are you? Nicholas Woodman, uh, founder and CEO of GoPro. Uh, started GoPro back in 2002 uh, to originally to make it easy for surfers to shoot photos while they're surfing. Made a wrist camera for surfing and uh, now here, almost nine years later, GoPro is the world leader in wearable cameras for sports. Yeah, I see your uh, I see your commercials on Oprah. I see, uh, I mean, I've seen your cameras be used on the miners that were being pulled out of Chile and skiing and all sorts of water sports. I see it like every day. I see some GoPro video. Yeah, it's cool. I mean, we one of our goals is to build uh, the world's most versatile camera. Because for, there's so many sports that people do, activities, passions that people have, that we wanted to make a camera that you can use for anything, but that works really, really well for anything. So we make a lot of different mounting accessories that take the DIY, the do-it-yourself, out of figuring out how do I ski with a camera on my chest, or how do I mount a camera on my car, or, or how do I mount my camera to a weather balloon and go get images of near space, which a lot of people have been doing lately. Uh, so when you're successful at building a really versatile image capture device, People use it for just about everything, and as you noted, they are using their GoPros for just about everything. Let's cover the news, because this week you're shipping the 3D camera. Let's start with that and then work backward. <laughs> yeah, the 3D Hero system. Uh, this, is, this is really exciting for us, because um, this really is one of the world's most innovative cameras. Um, it is a 3D camera, yes, but as we discussed earlier when we were catching up, that it's, a, it's not actually a 3D camera in itself. It's really two of our 1080p HD Hero cameras um, combined into a, a housing that holds them both together. Uh, and then you use a synchronization cable uh, to join the two cameras together into perfect synchronization to shoot synchronized 3D video and photos. But you can, of course, uh, one day use them independently and then the next day shoot 3D with them so it's super versatile. Uh, and uh, yeah, we start uh, shipping it this week for 99 bucks, and that's for the a, housing. For the housing, the yeah. synchronization cable, and then the uh, the Cineform Studio software that's available as a free download from GoPro.com, and 99 bucks is a is an awesome deal for for a ton of our customers, especially because they already own two or more GoPros. We sell a lot of multi-camera rigs to our customers because they like to capture the action of their favorite sport or activity from multiple perspectives. So now they can upgrade the functionality of their existing HD Heroes to 3D with the $99 3D Hero system. How, how much are the Hero cameras as well? The yeah. 1080p model starts at $259 for the, uh, we call it the HD Hero Naked, where it doesn't come with, uh, it comes with one mount. Um, so $259 up to $299 for uh, one of the HD Helmet or HD Motorsport Hero versions that comes with a ton of different mounting accessories. So for 260 plus 260 is 520 plus the hundred dollar 3D Hero system. Uh, if you're starting from scratch, it'd be 620 bucks. And it's the world's least expensive full 1080p 3D camera system. It's really awesome. How, most people have figured out how to get a video onto YouTube or Facebook using their iPhones or their Android mm -hmm. phones or whatnot. What what do you have to do to get a 3D video out to the the web? It's yeah. real. It's really easy. You, you can watch 3D videos that you shoot with the 3D Hero system uh, on your computer, uh, on your 2D or 3D TV, uh, or online at YouTube. So even if you have a, a, a web-connected TV, you can stream 3D from YouTube. It's really cool. But the way that you do it with the 3D Hero system is both cameras are shooting their own independent 2D file, and they're saving it to their own SD card. And then you, you import those onto your computer and using Cineform Studio, which again is for free download from GoPro.com, automatically uh, combines those two files and spits out a side-by-side uh, -side video file that you can then upload to YouTube. And YouTube can play that back side-by-side -side 
or uh, in any number of ways. YouTube knows how to take a side-by-side -side video and, and play it back as anaglyph, side-by-side -side for playback on passive or active shutter 3D TVs. One way to think about our software is it takes in your two video files and spits out one 3D file. Wow, so pretty easy to do. Very easy to do, but if you're kind of more on the advanced or professional content creation side of things, like you guys, for example. Well, Rocky. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like Rocky. Uh, you, we give you full control of the convergence of the two video files. And convergence is how do the two files lay over each other to give you that 3D illusion. And you can um, manipulate that for your desired effects. You can have certain things in the foreground appear more in 3D or in the background appear more in 3D. And you can do on-the-fly changes. There's keyframing. I don't know if you heard, but we recently acquired Cineform, yeah. which is a, a leading uh, video compression and software uh, company. We've taken the software applications that they sell to Hollywood for 3D um, uh, content creation and put it into this free version, but we've just made it really easy for people to use. Got it. Tell me a little bit about the camera, because it's waterproof, right? Mm -hmm. And it can take a, a pretty good shock to it. it. I've seen it used all over the place. HD Hero is um, the best-selling uh, call it kind of like a passion camera because people use it to, to capture their passions. But whether you're talking about motorcycle racing, car racing, uh, skiing, surfing, all of these vertical markets, all these sports that people do, it's the number one selling camera for people to document their passion. Um, and so to, to have the camera perform well in sports ranging from riding dirt bikes to surfing, it's got to be really durable. So what we've done is um, we've encased the camera in a polycarbonate housing that really serves as an exoskeleton. Some people call it a water housing, but it's really like a protective shell for the camera. Uh, it's waterproof to 180 feet. Um, and it's actually waterproof quite a bit deeper than that, but the buttons lock up at about 180, 200 feet. You know, if you take a spill or drop the camera, what have you, the camera's totally protected. Um, in the 2D version, if you want to buy a replacement housing, it's 40 bucks to buy a replacement housing. We sell replacement lens kits for $20 so that you can really get out and use your camera and not worry about it because if you do damage the housing, it's, it's not that expensive to replace it. Uh, and of course, you can mount it um, because we have this built-in mounting system. You can mount it to your helmet. We make a chest harness so you can mount, wear it on your chest when you're skiing if you don't wear a helmet. Suction cups, roll bar mounts, handlebar mounts, surfboard specific mounts, the list goes on. A lot of people don't know you started this company in a VW bus. Right? We yeah. The story, right? Yeah. And just a few years ago. And how many people do you have working here? 76 employees now. That's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, I mean, the. And you're on Oprah every day. I mean, I, the fans <laughs> aren't cheap, so. Yeah, it's. You're, you're well, doing something right. Well, we run those national TV commercials. Um, to show people on their HD TVs at home how high quality the footage is from a GoPro. We got, you know, we were telling people this all the time. We figured, you know, rather than say it, we should show it to people so that they can watch GoPro content um, live at, you know, at home on their HD TV. And you'll notice that our commercials, they never talk about, you know, camera specifications or how many megapixels this, or that, that, or the other. We just show terrific content and people learn like, wow, this is an incredibly impressive camera. Uh, it's better than a lot of what they see on TV and normal TV shows. Um, yet you can go to your local bike shop, ski shop, or REI or Best Buy to buy it, which is pretty awesome. We like to think we're democratizing professional content capture. And, and uh, for 300 bucks, the HD Hero Arrivals system's costing you know, thousands of dollars. So that's that's pretty I, cool. I remember first hearing about you. I didn't even know you were 200 yards from my house. I mean, yeah. it's crazy how close you are. If you're like Half Moon Bay, yeah. what is that? I was yeah. like, what? GoPro's here? No yeah. way. But yeah. I remember walking around the, C, the Consumer Electronics Show with an NBC producer um, a few years back, and he was talking about this little camera and a, that's a cube, and yeah. you can do all sorts of stuff yeah. with it, you yeah. know, put it underwater, put it in sharks' mouths, and... You know, I mean, it's crazy the kinds of footage that he was talking about. As then, then I'm glad I got to know that you were right around the corner. Yeah, it's fun because uh, GoPro is used by so many professionals to capture unique perspectives that weren't possible before. The Discovery Channel was mounting the camera on shark fins for sh during Shark Week, and so you were swimming around on a shark from the shark's perspective, things like that that you just simply couldn't do before GoPro. So it's so it's fun to hear that. I know that. It's one of the tools of choice for field reporting, for the CNNs and the, the 60 Minutes of the World going and doing war reports and stuff like that because it's teeny. So you can get it into places where you, 
maybe otherwise aren't allowed to have a camera. Uh, and the fact that you can, you know, mount it on a military helmet or wear it on your chest means that if you need to, to, to run, <laughs> you can still have your camera with you and get, get footage of it. But it feels really good to see how many, you know, from consumer up through f professional, how many people are having fun and, and getting a lot of use out of their GoPros. Talk to the entrepreneurs who are, are maybe starting companies and think it costs a lot of money to start a company like this. GoPro had really humble beginnings. And I think that, uh, you know, my message to entrepreneurs is uh, to keep it low cost. You know, you got to have no overhead and you might have to move back in with your mom and dad to do it. Uh, but uh, I like to say GoPro is a, an overnight eight-year, nine-year success. It's yeah. taken that long. You know, we hear a lot about companies that in one to two years, boom, they have huge success. Yeah. I'd say that's great if that happens to you, but um, you shouldn't go into it thinking that that's the norm. That's definitely not. I was an art major, UC San Diego, and uh, I was always uh, frustrated that I couldn't surf and, and shoot photos at the same time because photography was an area of focus for me. And I never really solved that problem during college. And then I went and I started an online marketing business that went boom and bust uh, with the economy in 1999, 2000, 2001. And during that period, I, I did the full venture route and I, we raised you know, four million bucks and um, didn't work out. And uh, so after that company, I sort of went to go lick my wounds and figure out what I wanted to do next. So I decided to get back to my roots and what I loved the most, which was surfing. And uh, I went on a five-month trip around Australia and Indonesia um, to figure out what I wanted to do next. And uh, fortunately, I'd saved a little bit of money from my, my last job. Um, and the irony is that in preparing to go on that trip, I thought, you know what, I'm going to go back and work on this idea I had for a camera that I could wear while I'm surfing. And one thing led to another. Uh, and during that trip, I have evolved this idea of a wrist camera that I could wear while I'm surfing and I got so excited about it that it was the first surf trip that I ever came back from where I was excited to come back to start GoPro. Uh, and I thought it was just going to be this little cam camera company for surfing and, and I'd keep it small and you know maybe me and a buddy would do it or something, keep, have a nice small little business. Um, but um, between here and there on the way back I bought a whole bunch of bead and shell belts with my now wife and when we, we, she traveled with me. And when we came back, we toured California in, in my 70s Volkswagen Westfalia camper selling these bead and shell belts. And so that's kind of the GoPro lore is that it was start, part of the seed money to get the company going. Uh, and it was, it, was, it was awesome. And I had my mom's sewing machine and was sewing the initial prototypes for the wrist strap and all this and that. So it's kind of a fun, it's a fun way to start a, start a business. But remember, at the time, it was, I thought it was just going to be a little surf company. How did you, can you show me the first products that you made? Yeah, yeah. Have a couple of them. Uh, we started out with this. This was a 1999 $20 uh, wrist camera uh, that we sold in surf shops. And then a huge success for us was that we got into REI. And uh, you wore it on your wrist. And the idea was that if you have a camera immediately available when uh, a cool opportunity for a shot arises, that you'll get a killer photo and that you don't have to have an expensive camera to get a great shot. You just have to have a camera at the right time. And that's still true, right? Uh, so the idea with this is we're surfing or we're snorkeling or we're kayaking or we're doing something where something interesting happens. Maybe you're getting a barrel and you're coming back at, at me as I'm paddling out and I can whoop, flip the camera up, snap a photo of you. But then if I have to grab my board and dive under the wave, come up the other side, I don't have to worry about dropping my camera. And then when I come up the other side, I can just lock it back down. So this was, this monster uh, uh, was, was really the first way for people in sport to have a camera readily available, but in a, in a way that didn't in, wasn't inconvenient at all and didn't get in the way of their enjoyment of the sport whatsoever. And thankfully, we've grown smaller and smaller since because of the magic, magic of digital technology. But yeah, this was the start to GoPro. Awesome. How, how did you get that manufactured? How did you start? It was all uh, doing internet searches for uh, manufacturers in China, trying to find somebody that was making something similar to what it was that I wanted. The original prototypes, you know, again, I sewed on my mom's sewing machine, and I, I, I took a camera, then uh, that I, uh, uh, a water housing that I hot glued plastic parts that I had dremeled out of a plastic blo block, and I FedExed it to China and said, "Hey, can you make me something like this?" You know, I don't, 
I'm not an engineer, so I wasn't working in CAD or anything like this, and I couldn't afford an engineer to draw to draw up CAD drawings for me. So I would send these little, you know, Dremel prototypes over to China, and fortunately, the company I was working with was, you know, willing to work with me, and uh, we made the injection molds for it. And uh, I can remember when when I got the first samples, I just, you know, that was production quality. I just couldn't believe that it was actually this was happening. Now that that's the coolest thing is when you finally have your pro your idea realized in a product and it goes on a shelf in a store and somebody buys it. I mean it's it, it's it's addictive. It's pretty keeps you going 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 to come out with new products because it's so much fun to see people using your product. How did you end up here in the Half Bay by the way? I was living in Moss Beach just up the road uh, for my previous business commuting to San Francisco and uh, you know, I grew up over the hill in Atherton, and having gone to UC San Diego and living on the coast down in La Jolla, I just had to move to the coast when I moved back up here, and that's Half Moon Bay, uh, or Santa Cruz, take your pick, and uh, just fell in love with Half Moon Bay. And so much of what we do is, you know, biking, surfing, taking the motorcycle out for a ride on a backcountry road, um, ripping the car on the backcountry road, having fun. So this is the area south of here between Half Moon Bay and Santa Cruz is GoPro's stomping grounds for doing a lot of R&D testing and having fun. There's a lot of windsurfing going on or yeah. uh, kite sailing. Yeah, kite surfing. yeah, yeah. Go down to, uh, well, you know, the kite surfing, windsurfing capital of the West Coast, aside from, I think it's Hood River up in Oregon and uh, um, Waddell down here towards Santa Cruz. So we're in a great, we're in a great spot uh, for it. Uh, a lot of athletes around. Obviously, we've got uh, Silicon Valley just over the hill, so we have tons of, uh, f of uh, terrific access to, to, to people to help us grow the business. It's a nice place to go to work every day. Yeah. Where do we learn more about it? GoPro.com. Very cool. And you guys are on Twitter as well. And you have a weird Twitter address, if I remember. GoPro underscore news. news. And, and GoPro, it's in our Facebook. You, can, you mentioned it's cool to check out all the footage that people are shooting. Uh, every day, I spend tons of time on our Facebook page. It's facebook.com forward slash GoPro camera. Or if you go to gopro.com, we have a Facebook love link over on the right-hand side. And the reason for that is Facebook, every day, there are hundreds of customer posts of their photos and videos that they're shooting around the world with their GoPros. It's incredible. Most companies post their own news and comments to, to their Facebook posts, right? We barely we do a photo of the day and a video of the day, and uh, uh, everything we make we give away one of everything we make every day uh, at GoPro.com, and we announce the winner on Facebook. Everything else, our photos and videos from our customers, and you see all the incredible stuff that they get up to with their cameras from around the world. So check out our GoPro's Facebook page, and you'll get a great sense of how much people love their GoPros. Oh, it, at Rackspace, we love it because a lot of our customers are are shooting with GoPros and putting that video up on our servers. So. We appreciate, appreciate what you do. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thanks a ton.